Hello and welcome friends, myself Dr. Smiley Pruthi. In this video, I am going to take this topic, respiratory question, that is RQ. So, let us get started, respiratory question. So, respiratory question is equal to the amount of carbon dioxide produced divided by the amount of oxygen utilized. Now, let us see in case of carbohydrates. In case of carbohydrates, for example, glucose, what happens? C6H12O6 that is glucose formula plus 6 oxygen gives 6 carbon dioxide and 6 water. So, RQ in case of carbohydrates will be 6 divided by 6 that is 1. So, RQ for carbohydrates is 1. RQ for proteins is 0.8 and RQ for fats is 0.7. See, it is so easy to learn. P of protein can be converted to number 8. So, for proteins it is 0.8. F of fat, F of fat can be converted to number 7. So, here it is 0.7. Now, RQ for mixed diet is 0.85. RQ for brain is found to be 0 0.97 to 0 0.99. So, we can say that the principal fuel for brain is carbohydrates. It is a principal fuel, not the only fuel. You know that brain will be using glucose in fed condition and in fasting condition. But if it is starvation, then brain will shift to ketone bodies. Now, in case of exclusive carbohydrate diet, obviously RQ will be 1. But in case of carbohydrate rich diet, RQ is more than 1, that is around 1.2. Why it occurs? Because when we are taking carbohydrate rich diet, you know that these extra carbohydrates will be converted to fat in the body. Now, when carbohydrate is converted to fat, well, then a macromolecule having more oxygen is getting converted to a macromolecule that is fat, which is having less oxygen. So, what will happen that some of the oxygen will be released when carbon dioxide is converted to fat. This oxygen can be used for oxidation so that we require less oxygen from the external source. That is why RQ will be more than 1 because amount of oxygen used here is decreased. Similarly, the opposite scenario that is when fats are converted to carbohydrates then RQ will be decreased. So, therefore, RQ can tell us the type of macromolecule which is getting used in the body and also it can tell the conversion of one macromolecule to another. Now, in fasting or starvation, RQ is decreased. Why? Because in fasting or starvation, fats are getting used in the body. That is, adipose tissue will be broken down to release fatty acids, which will go to liver for breakdown. And in a normal person, when a person is eating food that is a fed state, normal person, here mainly body is using carbohydrates, so RQ will be 1. And in fasting or starvation, when fats are used, you know the fats RQ is 0 0.7, so RQ decreases in fasting or starvation. If they ask you what happens to RQ in a diabetic patient, diabetic situation is same like fasting or starvation. In diabetic situation, there is relative or absolute deficiency of insulin. That is why when insulin deficiency is there, GLUT4 which is present on the peripheral cells that is not activated. So, glucose from blood is unable to go into the peripheral cells. That is why glucose remain in the blood. So, therefore, cells are not receiving glucose. So, cells will start using fats. So, again body will start using fats and RQ will be decreased. And if they ask you on giving insulin what will happen? You know when insulin is given then GLUT4 present on peripheral cells will be activated. Now, glucose can enter into the peripheral cells and the cells will again start using carbohydrates as the main fuel. So, therefore, RQ will again increase. So, I summarize that in a diabetic patient, RQ decreases, but on giving insulin, it will again increase. Now, in case of acidosis and alkalosis, what happens to RQ? In acidosis, RQ increases because carbon dioxide output increases. So, carbon dioxide output is greater than oxygen consumption. And in case of alkalosis, RQ is decreased because respiration is depressed. And in case of alkalosis, RQ is decreased because respiration is depressed. So, carbon dioxide will be retained in the body. So, less carbon dioxide will be produced and, and RQ decreases. Now, in case of fever, RQ increases because there is increased breathing. 
So carbon dioxide production increases, therefore RQ increases. In case of exercise, because of lactic acid production, RQ increases, again because acid is increased, I told you in acidosis, RQ increases. And during recovery from exercise, as lactic acid levels will be reduced, so less carbon dioxide will be produced, so RQ will be decreased and gradually it will go back to normal. This is it with this topic. Thanks for watching. Best wishes.